Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we're back on Project DZ292, the engine that never was, the little brother to that high whining ripper of a small block, the Chevy 302. In the last few videos, what have we done? Well, the rotating assemblies in there, rods, pistons, crank, even the camshaft timing gears and timing cover. If you notice, the engine's upside down. So yeah, we're gonna be working on the bottom end of this in this video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the oil pump installed, we're gonna get the windage baffle installed, and we're gonna get the oil pan installed. That's gonna be a huge step forward and making a whole lot of awesome noise in this. But first, let me show you what parts we're actually working with. All right, so here's what we're working with. Uh, we've got this really awesome wind oil pan. It's a seven quart racing pan. I know I'm trying to stick to as much possible stock to this vehicle as possible. However, I do have some decent money in this thing and I want proper oiling. Um, if you notice on this thing, it's actually baffled in here. Uh, trap door to keep oil where it needs to be. It's actually a nice unit. It's a seven quart and the factory is a four quart. So yeah, I just want better oiling for this engine. Um, it does come up with a special pickup for that. And I am using a Mellings uh, high volume uh, oil pump. Uh, this is a Moroso windage baffle. I'm going to be using Canton Racing oil pan stud kit and a Mellings rod couple parts I don't have in yet because like a dipstick, I forgot to order the dipstick and I'm also waiting for the bipe or the filter non bypass adapter to come in with that. I tell you what, guys, we should probably get working. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be running Felpro gaskets on the oil pan. And once another one comes in, because this is for my race engine, I've got another Moroso filter coming. So, yeah, those are the parts we're working with. I'm rambling. We should really probably get to work. All right, so first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install the Canton Racing oil pan stud kit. Now, mind you, these are stainless and sometimes stainless and cast iron. It doesn't play nice. It can gall. And to prevent that, I'm going to be using a lot of the ARP Molly lubricant and put those in there. Once I get those in there, guys, well, I'm going to start putting on the baffle itself, that Moroso piece. And But before I do any of that, what I need to do is I'm going to go back there just as a safety measure, and I'm going to check the torque specs on the main cap bolts and also the rod bolts. After that, I'm going to tackle this. pump is on along with the Morosa windage tray. I had to adjust it up and down. I wanted to go on the lowest setting it could go, but there was some crankshaft, actually ride bolt interference. Um, if you notice when I was tapping that on, I actually wasn't beating on it with a hammer, lightly tapping. I made this, um, it's a little piece of stainless steel. What I did is I cut it in half, threaded it, and I clamped that over that little lip on there. And I just take a punch and a hammer and just lightly tap each side, lightly tap each side and it gets into place. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. I did put Loctite on those to hold that in place. Plus, it's really, really tight. Um, yeah, there is there is clearance in there. Um, good to go on that. The oil pan stud kit's in. Yeah, pretty much next what we got to do is lay some gaskets down, put a pan on.
check that out. The Wyand oil pan is on. That's a seven quart with that baffle. Yes, I use a little bit of a gasket maker in there. I just want to make sure everything seals. Uh, small block Chevys tend to want to leak in these corners. That's where I put a dab. And just a thin layer along there. Man, I'm really digging that. Looks pretty sharp. Well, there you have it. Oiling system is done, except, like I said, I was a dipstick because I didn't order the dipstick and I need to get the oil filter bypass adapter on there. Everything's on order, just waiting for that. So once I get those in, um, I'll put those on and get that installed. But yeah, it's really starting to come together and it's really starting to look like an engine again. Um, like I said, this thing's a really fun project and I can't wait to hear it bark off. It's going to be pretty neat. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about is with this camshaft and this compression combination, should be around 10 and a half to 10 three quarters one. It should sound pretty poppy for us, that small of a cubic inch engine. But with that, I'm really tired. I'm grimy. I really need to get cleaned up and I really need to get something to eat. With that, 2X Garage, we'll see you in the next one.